welcome back guys and in today's video we're going to look at how do you generate a directional bias for the day this is really important how do you know if you want to buy today if you want to sell today how do you know which way the market should go on that current day based off higher time frames going down to lower time frames this is top down analysis this you have to know this in trading it's really really important and if you don't and you know if you don't know this and you're just watching and learning it in this video it is going to drastically change your trading and you're going to be able to you know look where the market's going really understand structure and trade with the trend and make the most profit and the best trades you can so with that being said let's take a look at gj here we will back test on other pairs we'll even go and look like at a random pair because this works with everything i'm just using gj because it's a nice for this example and uh you know what we'll actually go and look at bitcoin and why will we look at bitcoin because bitcoin is like a random pair just to prove that this works right so you know let's rewind let's say to this week here right so on the weekly time frame what do we have here we can see on the weekly we have closed at this area here and we can look for price to pop up to this next resistance you know fill that we have tapped a resistance here so this is what we're looking for right we can see that we have rising wick so we're obviously bullish right but we're tapping this resistance here so we need to go to a lower time frame so for the week we don't really have much space to go up right so let's go and see on the daily what the daily is printing and you can see there that the daily closed above this pivot here so daily closing above this pivot and we did get that push already right and if we scroll back we can see that the daily has some space to fill and we might get a wick fill right so then you go to the lower time frames we're all bullish and you can see we tap that resistance there and now we're closing bearish on the four hour all right so we're ultimately bullish so we're looking for this just to put in a higher low but the four hour is coming bearish right because why is it becoming bearish because we closed bearish and we broke the bottom wick on a lower time frame that's a higher high and this is a uh, higher low and now we're making a lower high and a lower low that's what that means on the lower time frames so if we go to play this and we've tapped the support here we might look since we're bullish on the higher time frames we might look for this to continue up let's see if i'm right okay so we can see boom yes we do get that continuation up why because we were bullish on the higher time frames many people will look at the four hour and say oh we're bearish we should come down no but we're bullish on the higher time frames and we were just putting in another higher low now of course you could catch this move on the lower time frames here as soon as you saw price closed bullish here breaking the last wick as soon as it closed above this area you can look for it to continue up now we're reaching this resistance a closure above that resistance should see price continue up right and we can see that we ranged here a bit uh dirty price action waiting for that closure above we didn't get any closures you see we just went into a range really disgusting right and as soon as we actually close below this range you can see that we had a clean candle here to fill and it came to fill and that's what you're looking for you're looking for these clean candles and when price closes below a support it should come down and fill that and that's how you generate your directional bias now let's go to the next week and see let's play this let's go oops let's see when it closes all right good it closed right so now we'll rewind and go to that week we'll go to here like so all right so price closed above this resistance look left guys look we created a huge wick so we had the space to fill now we can basically get a wick fill on the weekly right and that's very possible to get a wick fill on the weekly so we can delete these lines now right and now we can go down to the daily so we're still bullish guys but look at the daily the daily has closed bearish right at resistance so at that point so now let's go and see how you would have taken this right so if you saw this like this right so now that the daily has closed bearish at resistance but still not breaking the wick so this is a higher high and this is a higher low so technically the next day you can still be looking for buys until this wick is broken and guess what happens the wick gets broken now if you look at the range you had so now as soon as the wick was broken you have all this clean range to fill here all the way down to the support and you can see as soon as it tapped the support it got bought back up because on the weekly we were still bullish right 
So now let's go down to the lower time frames and see how you would have you know been able to catch this right so now we're closing bearish so at this point as soon as this wick is broken we can look for cells and we can see that that and we'll put where that wick is right so so that we know that wick is coming here and now we'll go on the four hour time frame right and we'll see all right if this is broken what do we have so now it gets broken so now we can say all right i'm looking for sales this is closing bearish we've come and filled that clean range and to be honest when price closes you could have been a bit aggressive and as soon as price closed below this area on a lower time frame you could have looked for this candle to be uh to be filled but this is how you're generating a directional bias and you can see on the four hour we already bearish right we closed same as on the daily right what happened on the daily we closed bearish we broke the lower wick and price continued down this is the same how it works so that's how you know if you were looking for sells or buys uh looking at let's take a look at bitcoin right so if you look at bitcoin here wow that's a lot of drawings so let's go on the daily let's remove this drawings uh and you know it's the same thing right so even the weekly will be nice and clean right so what happened price is in an uptrend right price created broke the lower wick we had a lower thing then we closed bullish as soon as we broke the wick and closed above this area here we had clean range to fill here when we broke the lower wick we went bearish as soon as we closed bu bullish and and broke this wick here we're making higher highs again and we're going up and we can look for buys and this is how you generate a directional bias so if we just fast forward to where we are now right and go on the weekly time frame we can see that we're looking maybe for some cells all the way back down to probably fill the rest of this candle back down maybe to 49,000, and we'll see if that target gets hit with that being said i'll leave you with this let me know if this video was any use or was it a bit confusing i know it's a difficult concept but i just wanted to try get it out there and if it was confusing i will look at different ways to explain this please i will start live streaming soon so this will be a very easy to understand during the live streams with that being said take care trade sharp until next time